So I see the dog sitting there in the front yard of this guy's house. And I roll up to him and I said, man, your dog almost killed me. And the guy said, yeah, she does that. <laughs> yeah, you got to love Alaska. Hi, I'm Tom Beers, and I'm the executive producer of Bering Sea Gold. Today, I'm going to do a really interesting bit of magic with some mashed potatoes. Being up in Alaska in the cold, it's always good to have a little bit of comfort food. I'm going to call this Bering Sea Gold Nugget Mash. So let's get started. Start out with a frying pan and about a quarter pound of butter. We're going to saute some uh, onions, maybe about a cup of onion. You're going to do these onions until they're just about a little golden brown. I love talking about Alaska because it's always my favorite place to go uh, in the world. The first time I went up to the Bering Sea to scout for Bering Sea gold, I was walking along the shoreline. All of a sudden, a pack of dogs came up and uh, kind of sniffing around, and there were about six or seven of them. And all of a sudden, I kind of put my hand down, and he, she bit me right on the hand. And it bit hard, drew blood. And I'm thinking, oh, this is not going to be good. And then started circling me. And all eight of the dogs, I'm looking around, and there's not a soul in sight. It's just me and eight dogs in the Bering Sea. And so what I did was slowly, very slowly, started to back myself into the Bering Sea, to my ankles, to my knees. And I realized the dogs weren't going to come with me, that they were going to stay on the shore. I backed into about my waist, you know, that whole nut level thing, it was ugly, man. So I'm standing in there freezing my foyons off, you know, and waiting for these dogs to leave. And I'm sitting there going, hello, hello, nobody. About 20 minutes later, the dogs decided to leave me, and I walked out. Needless to say, I was pretty pissed. All right, so anyway, what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna take, it's a little corn succotash, onion, green peppers, red peppers, and corn. Then I'm gonna follow it up very quickly with about a quarter of a cup of chicken consomme. So we're gonna let those kind of simmer along for about three minutes. All right, so now I got the succotash going, and what I wanna do now is I'm gonna add about, this is chopped rosemary. It's about two tablespoons, and I'm gonna put just one in the succotash. You know, you can't beat that. I love the smell of rosemary. Now I'm gonna actually whack it with some more cracked pepper. Yeah. This is smelling really good, really good. So what I want to do now is I've prepared about six cups of mashed potatoes. It's just a traditional bash. You know, you can just basically take your Idaho potatoes and boil them up and, you know, do all that you got to do. So basically, it's about six cups of mash. I'm going to take this mash and I'm going to drop it right into this frying pan and I'm going to stir it in. You know, let me tell you, my, my favorite thing about Gnome, my favorite reason to go to Gnome is there isn't one, man. <laughs> the ends for means. You know, these guys go up there looking for gold. You know, they're not looking for, you know, a lovely home on the beach. Don't get me wrong, there's a, some great people that live up there year round, and I'm not making fun of them. But for me personally, I mean, it's one of the toughest places in the world to live. All right, so I've got the potatoes. It's all mixed up. The second phase to this is I've got these new potatoes. So what I want to do, and this is why we call this gold nuggets, because in essence, what I'm going to do is I'm going to saute these potatoes, and we're going to put about four tablespoons of roasted garlic extra virgin olive oil. And then we're going to mix in with that the rest of that rosemary. So this is about another teaspoon of rosemary here. I just want to get it sautéed and get the flavors started coming out of that oil. Up in Nome, where basically we shoot to Bering Sea Gold, you know, a lot of the guys in the summer just basically are living in tents on the beach. I mean, it, it's kind of like Mad Max up there. It's the last frontier. You know, guys come in from you know all over the world to basically try and strike it rich and walk away with you know millions of dollars in gold. You know, it's a, it's a great dream, and, uh, you know, I'm really, you know, I, I have a lot of, give a lot of respect and credit for anybody that goes up there and does that because, again, it is singularly one of the toughest, most brutal places in the planet to work. So anyway, so we got that oil nice and hot. We're going to drop these potatoes that have been, again, in the microwave for about four and a half minutes. I just want to try and get the outside of them a little crispy, and we're going to just let them saute for a little bit. While they're cooking, 
I'm gonna finish up with some of my special ingredients for the mash. I really love sour cream uh, in mashed potatoes. So this is about a third of a cup of sour cream. So we're gonna mix that in, fold it in to the potatoes. Just adds a really nice tart flavor. I'm a big fan also of cheese, so cheddar. So we're gonna put maybe about another half a cup of cheddar into this mix. Remember, I'm still talking comfort food here, guys. This is like the kind of food you wanna eat when you're cold and miserable and away from home and away from your loved ones. So basically, I'm gonna just get these things, the skins on these just a little crispy, and then they're gonna go into a roasting pan like that. We're gonna add just that little remaining of the consomme, and then I'm gonna hit it with some Parmesan. So basically, these are gonna go into the oven at about 350 degrees. All right, so I'm gonna take a casserole while those potatoes were in the oven. I'm gonna mix, I'm gonna basically drop this blend right into this pan. Oh, nice. The cheese is all cheesing, the corn's all melding up nice. You can smell that, oh, smell that consomme, uh, sour cream. This is just good eating right here. Now these potatoes have been there roasting for about 15 minutes. Mm. Boy, you can smell it. Parmesan and their rosemary. It smells really fantastic. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna basically drop those bad boys right into this mix. And again, the whole idea here is these are my gold nuggets in my mash. Mix that up nice, get them all hit up like that. Then we're gonna lay some onion over the top, two tablespoons. Again, I'm gonna throw a little Parmesan just over the top. I kind of like it a little crusty on the top. And just for the heck of it. I always love dropping some really nice whole sprigs of rosemary right on the top of a dish. I think three will do it. So here you have it, Bering Sea Gold Nugget Mash. So it's gonna go in the oven for about 20 minutes at 350 degrees. So we've been about 15 minutes. Uh, you know, the potatoes, the mash are in there, so let's just see what they look like. You know, my mouth is watering. The smell in the room is fantastic. You know, so hey, let's see what we got here. Oh, 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 look at that. Now, how beautiful is that? Crispy on the top. Oh, the fragrance, the aroma is spectacular. You can smell the, the onion. You can smell the rosemary, oh, the cheese. This is awesome. The only thing I got to do now is eat it. So take a little bowl, a little spoon inside here. We're going to come up. Oh, and it's all crispy. And we're going to come up with some nuggets. There's your nugget right there. New potatoes hidden deep inside. This is exciting. Oh, the top's crispy and perfect. And to get my recipe, click on the link below. Aha. I should do this for a living. To be honest, it's really fucking good.